What's up, y'all? We got another good one for you today. Um, we're in a new spot that Zach brought me to, and we have to catch us some live bluegill to go take to another spot tomorrow to try to get on some big bass. So uh, we're gonna get a good good one today, and then uh, definitely um, get a good one tomorrow. Hopefully, we can get some some big bass with those live bluegill. But let's see what we can do. I got a feeling. Got him. Golly, it's easier to hook these big ones because they got a lot of white behind them. Ripping lips. Look at that. He's a nice little, nice little bream. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's, that's what we need right there. Oh, hello there, little guy. This is, uh, you're going to be somebody's lunch tomorrow. I can't throw it right. Pretty sure I just slung my bait off, and I did. That's nice. I got this one little flake of a tortilla. We're about to roll up in a little ball and put on there and see what happens. That'd be legit if I could catch one on it. Oh, yeah. I got a feeling, boys. We're gonna catch one on this little bitty, little bitty piece. This almost already came off too. Oh, dude, I caught it. And he is big. That's the biggest one I caught all day. All right, chill out, chill out. I can't believe I just actually called that. I was not really expecting that to work out. God, stop. Stop it. Golly, dude, these things are freaking fat. Oh, stop. We can't do nothing with him, but eat him. And we ain't eat him today. Ow, Jesus. Golly, these little jokers are fighting. I want one smaller than this, though. I don't want one this big. Stop, bro. Thank you. One after another. Usually you want to fish for the big ones, but today we want the little ones and can't catch a little one. Now the second I go over here and start bass fishing and want to catch a big bass, all I'm going to do is catch little ones. How's that work? You got you one? Oh, Zach, Zach's got him a nice one. What, about three pounds? Don't lose him. Oh, he's a nice, he's a toad. Look at that. Oh, dude, that's a four pounder probably. What do you think? Oh yeah, that's a nice one right there. That's gotta be three and a half. Boy, look at that. That's a good size. That's a good size to be fishing with tomorrow. Like taking candy from a baby. Me and Zach are still wearing these little brim out. We're trying to get us a little, few more for the pond fishing trip tomorrow oh dude look at this look how little this one is bro i don't see how my hook literally just caught this fish oh no oh oh that was a good catch i don't care who you are look at this one do we keep him He's little, little. Look at that. Just for the record, I did not come prepared today to brim fish. I just showed up. We're going to bass fish a little bit. And um, I only have my bait casting rod. So 
I'm just kind of making this work. Luckily, Zach had some hooks that were small enough because I, I only brought my bass stuff. But, uh, but we didn't have any luck with the bass today, so it's kind of turned into catching brim so we can have plenty of brim to um, fish with tomorrow at the different pond. So, therefore, just kind of had to swap it up. But we are wearing them out. So, good one right there. The next day. All right, y'all, we're back at the pond. We got our bluegill with us today. I'm gonna show them to y'all the best I can. I don't know if y'all can see them, but anyway, we got them cooled off, they're living, they're doing good. And then we got Zach over here with the balloons rigged up. Show them our, show them our setup, dog. Got the balloon. So we're gonna hook up some live brim to these things and see what we can do. All right, y'all, so it has been a struggle so far. We got out here within five seconds of getting out here, it started just pouring down rain and we had to wait it out for a while. But uh, we finally made it back out here. Zach's got a freaking huge bird nest. Look at that. Dude, what did I do to deserve this? But we got our, um, our balloons out. Uh, I don't know how, they've been out like five, 10 minutes. So we might move around a little bit, but uh, we're out here now and see, see if this is gonna bring us any luck or not. I don't know if the rain screwed it up, but we'll see. All right, y'all, this is what our setup looks like. Our brim is alive, but it has been tough. We've been rained on. I mean, it just almost seems like it was not meant to be today because it has just been ridiculous. Watch out, let me cast real quick, Zach. And I'm sure that didn't feel good to that little brim. Maybe he'll recover. If you don't catch a fish or I don't catch a fish right here, let's just go to the house. Because that means they just ain't, there's no fish in here. There's no fish, the only fish in here is the three on the hooks, bro, that's it. This is unreal. All right, y'all, we're about to get ready to pack it in. I don't know what happened today, but um, we just got really skunked. Do you have any comments about today, Zach? I'm ready to go to bed. He's ready to go to bed. These fish have done just skunked us today. I think we caught, I caught one bass and then, and we weren't even rolling because it was raining. So anyway, hopefully we're gonna try to do this one again and uh, hopefully we'll have some better conditions and some better luck next time.